up YouTube this is supercharged iOS and I got a brand new device to show you guys today it's called a UG 007 B and it's an Android mini PC it's capable of running XBMC and you can see right there it's quad core it has Mali 400 it's two gigs of RAM so it's got plenty of space to run those apps at the same time and it has 8 gigs in, of internal storage you can also get a 16 gig model but I didn't feel the need to get the 16 gig model since I'm going to be extending with the micro SD so I'll have add my 32 gigs of memory onto it anyway so this is what it looks like it's wrapped up in plastic now as you saw this is exactly the way it came the box itself wasn't wrapped in plastic but it is brand new and this will be completely sealed up when you get it and if you've seen one of these, you've pretty much seen all of them. It's just got some vent holes on it like so. And this little cap pops off. So it's a pretty it's a pretty nice size, you know, easy to hide. And in the box, there's a little extender cable. Give you some slack to operate with when you hook it up. And the charger. So well the power cable I guess I should say so that's all you get you don't get a remote with this device so just a heads up you're gonna need to use a wireless keyboard or some sort of keyboard it does have Bluetooth capability so you could use a Bluetooth uh, remote or whichever you choose so let's get this device hooked up and on this device there's two identical looks like places that you could put the power cable I've tried it in both I haven't plugged it into the power but the other end this end does fit both of these so I guess that's just for convenience but I use the one next to the USB port so you can try both if you like but that's the one I went with and it works perfect alright so there we go got it all hooked up and it's pretty simple to set this up all you have to do is you know into your existing Google account information or you can create a new one as you can see right there and I didn't have much luck with this extender in fact that was the problem where I was getting no picture so I just went ahead set that out and just plugged it straight in the HDMI port on the side like that now if your TV is on the wall like mine you probably won't be able to put this in the back of your television but it's working out for me on the side so I'm gonna stick with that and I went ahead and did away with the USB hub because it's a little too bulky to be hanging down so that's for my wireless keyboard which is right here as you can see works perfectly I know a lot of other devices have issues with the mouse slowing down and laggy this one works fairly well alright in the next few days I'll be showing you guys how to add XBMC to this device and we'll do some reviews and see how it works and everything this is supercharged iOS so please like our page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and please follow us at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS if you like this device please tell me why in the comment section below thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>